land of opportunity when it comes to independent thought. I'm going to talk to you about a stock that you have no idea exists, and it is making waves in the face of what has been a tumultuous 2022 stock market. They have uh, done some revolutionary things. The company has been around for 10 years. The company I'd like to introduce to you and kind of break this story over social media is Aduro Clean Technologies. It is a company that has been under the radar for good reason. It is half owned by insiders. It has been in the making now for 10 years. Aduro Clean Technology sports a water-based technology that actually breaks down plastic that would have otherwise and has for the previous many, many decades ended up in our oceans and our landfills, okay? Now, just for full disclosure, I've entered into a 12,500 share position in the company. This is by no means a call to fall all over yourself and go and buy the stock. We use social media as a conduit to provide awareness to those companies that you would not have been aware even existed out there on the marketplace. But I'm here to tell you that after 10 years of hard work and dedication, this management team led by the CEO and the uh, co-founder is making revolutionary waves. And you might think, okay, Ryan, you know, every company out there has a story to tell. They all have a story to sell. They all have the latest and greatest technology. What you need to be very, very aware of is the recent news that just broke with Aduro Clean Technology being accepted by Shell Oil. Yes, indeed, I will say it again, Shell Oil. The major has selected Aduro Clean Technologies and their water-based technology because it is absolutely a critical time right now to get this thing right. Every single company out there, I want you to take a moment and just imagine the major companies out there, all of the major plastic producers out there, which involves most of the major oil companies, as well as your product producers like Procter & Gamble, Johnson & Johnson, Kimberly Clark, and many others. You'd be hard pressed to find a company out there that offers a product and does so without the necessity to offer those products by using plastic. Now, if you were like me, when I first discovered this company, I thought, I thought we had already had this problem of recycling solved a long, long time ago. Um, I was drawn a triangle, a, a, a cyclical triangle, I might add, to suggest that when we throw our plastic and we throw our recyclables into the recycle bin, that that goes to the uh, garbage uh, processing plant, wherever that might be, and those plastics get recycled to end up in the introduction of new products. Over 80% of the plastics that come in are difficult to break down in their molecular structure. And these plastics that I speak of are your polypropylene, your polyethylene, and your polystyrene chemicals. They are very complex and they are very, very difficult to break in. And to my disbelief, over 80% of those plastics just get discarded by the wayside and they end up taking space in our landfills and in a lot of a global perspective end up getting dumped in the ocean where there's regulations that may not be uh, as strict as ours here in the U.S. or other of the developed nations out there and they end up getting dumped in our oceans. Okay, It's a very, very sad story. But up until now, the science has not been existent to actually assist in breaking down uh, this, uh, these tough to break down plastics. Furthermore, the issue of contamination has also been an issue. You imagine eating a Snickers bar and having that contaminant on the inside of the wrapper, i.e. the melted chocolate, or you use your Tide bottle after you're done doing the uh, laundry for its last load in the bottle. And you end up taking that, you don't rinse it out, but you've got the stickering on the outside and you've got the residue on the inside, which all too often subjects those items to disqualification for uh, further disposition in the recycling chain. Therefore, those get discarded to the oceans 
and to the landfills. This actually uh, constitutes the status quo right now with what is safe to be considered a one-time use for the plastics that we had, at least 80% of those uh, plastics that I just spoke of that are difficult to recycle. Aduro Clean Technologies has brought a low heat, uh, low impact, uh, environmentally friendly solution to the forefront that has been validated by a third party to uh, give the stamp of approval on this technology that it in fact it works. They are just finalizing their Reactor 2 program here in that they are going to uh, turn out their first iteration of uh, taking feedstock, which is the hard to recycle plastics, contaminated and all, and in some cases mixing the two and can actually come out with a product on the back end that can actually be re reused to make the same product and complete that cyclical economy we are after. Furthermore, and this is the more exciting part of the uh, Aduro Clean Technologies uh, solution that they've brought to bear is the idea of upcycling. Upcycling is the ability to take those uh, hard to uh, recycle plastics, put them into the reactor, and actually upcycle uh, that product or uh, material on the back end uh, to be actually put back into uh, the service line in a different form or a better form or a more uh, desired form of that plastic. The idea here that Aduro Clean Technologies has uh, put this technology to the rigor uh, by nature of the third party validation and just recently being accepted by Shell Oil in their Game Changer program, Aduro is a $40 million market cap stock. It has flown under the radar this entire time and nobody, and I mean nobody, is talking about it and I think management likes it that way until right now. We've just got the floodgates opened to spread the word. I started my due diligence on Aduro Clean Technology about seven days ago. This was before the Shell News broke with the Game Changer program. Uh, it wasn't until I discovered that the stock is actually fairly difficult to purchase here in the United States, being void of even recognition through major brokers like Charles Schwab, all of the discount brokers, Robin Hood, uh, Webull, M1 Finance, nary a have it uh, on their uh, brokers uh, for selection. Merrill Edge also does not have it available. I had to call a trade specialist and actually discuss with them that they've applied terms that would disqualify Aduro from the equation. Now, they did say that once the stock gets above let's say a $5 mark and it's got a market cap much higher than what it has now, that they will offer that stock for purchase. I just kind of laughed a little bit and said, well, I'd like to buy the stock before it goes up perhaps. Um, thank you very much. But I was able to identify those three brokers out there that actually do offer the stock without any restriction. You can purchase the shares unabated. Uh, based on their own particular terms of agreement. My terms of agreement through interactive brokers was such that I self-designated myself through the trading permissions to enter into penny stock trading. The stock right now is trading at about 74 cents US. It is still considered a penny stock. It is unknown, uh, but uh, trading at about 74 cents right now um, with some fairly heavy volume. The stock has boasted over the last five days a 25% run-up, and it's done so silently on the line. 25% run-up in the last five days only speaks to the validation of acceptance into the Game Changer program uh, from Shell Oil. Now, I just want to speak a little bit about this Game Changer program and what it could mean for Aduro, what it will mean if you visit aduroclean.com, you're going to find the uh, corporate presentation on there speaking about their uh, plans before acceptance into the program of doing everything in-house. And I have no, uh, no doubt in my mind that Aduro Clean Technologies would have brought their subsequent reactors online in a smart and scaled manner 
with each of the learnings from each uh, of the uh, reactors that they brought in line to lend itself invaluable to the next iteration of the reactor, and then finally getting to that commercial reactor that they were going to actually take out there to what they boast to be a very, very interested pool of the who's who within the oil industry as well as the uh, consumer products and plastic uh, offerers out there. You can just use your imagination, but it's very difficult to imagine companies like Johnson & Johnson, Procter & Gamble uh, that are, are, are not going to be interested in this product. Now you might say, Ryan, what, what gives? Why would they have to uh, turn over and, and really start to look hard at these, uh, these technologies here with the ability to step in the way of a secular economy? The 2025 global mandates are coming online here, and this is the interesting part where it's not going to become an option anymore. It's going to become required. And Aduro Clean Technology boasts right now the leading chemical process, hydro-based uh, process for uh, processing those hard-to-process plastics anywhere in the world right now. They own the IP. They own the patents outright. Nobody can duplicate what it is that they bring to the table. And Shell Oil has just validated that for the entire world to know if you're an investor, you need to take note. If you're a major oil company, you can rest assured, be very, very uh, uh, understanding of this. They are also taking note of this because Shell cannot be provided a competitive advantage without the other majors trying to keep pace with what has been defined as kind of a game changer in and of itself as uh, Shell uh, selected Aduro as their, their, their program partner. Now over the next 12 months, we are gonna closely observe this story. Shell is going to provide capital, non-dilutive capital to Aduro to assist them in accelerating their path to commercialization. Why? Because this solution is needed now. And dare I might suggest that this solution was needed 10, 20, and 30 years ago. We are here right now at the precipice of a change in history where we can say with full confidence that the technology exists. We are in the final iteration of those stages of finalizing a mass scale opportunity for Aduroclin technology. This news just broke this week. This is, uh, is days old. That's a reason why the stock has popped 25%. I think the stock should be up 500% right now. It is not because I think there is a couple of things going on. Headwind in the market. Everybody thinks the stock market's going to hell in a handbasket. Therefore, it makes it doubly difficult to identify situations where stocks like this are getting left in the dust. So you have to dig deeper. You have to dig and you have to look for those opportunities and Aduro Clean Technologies has just provided that opportunity with that validation from Shell. Now Shell is also going to provide their phased in approach. They are going to provide consulting and in-house resources. The whole idea here guys is that Shell uses their almost infinite budget and their almost infinite reach to uh, in-house expertise to make sure that they can leverage and take this Aduro Clean technology to the next level. And it is absolutely almost a foregone conclusion that at the end of 12 months, we are going to be looking at a radically different company in the process of being re-rated as we speak. Guys, I appreciate you tuning in to this quick shot Aduro Clean Technologies video. I will leave the ticker symbols in the description below for you guys that want to look it up right now. It is A-C-T-H-F. That is A-C-T-H-F here in the U.S. traded in Canada uh, on the ticker symbol A-C-T on the Canadian Stock Exchange. Guys, go check it out read the news releases. I will attach it to this video. I appreciate you tuning in. Leave your comments at the bottom, and you're going to want to blast this out through your friends and family's network out there that are also covering the microcap space. It is 10 years in the making, guys. It is 10 years, and if you want to do this independently, you're going to be scouring over 10,000s of names, all right? 
the hard work has already been done for you. I've just provided your critical link to a company that is doing revolutionary things and still at the time of this video is absolutely an unknown fly under the radar company, but that is shortly going to change and it's going to be short lived with this new announcement just this week of Shell Oil accepting EnduroClean Technologies into their game changer program. It is in fact a game changer. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into the message and good luck in your investment future.